welcome back to Duck Duck Otaku, the very best in low-cost cosplay and props. Uh, this is part two of my series of three on my Jean Art cosplay from Momocon 2018, Atlanta. Um, and yeah, so this is going to be all about my armor and how I made it. So I know you can make things out of um, EVA mats, like the big ones, and a heat gun, but uh, I don't have a heat gun, <laughs> and I really don't want to have to buy a heat gun. I know I'm going to buy one eventually. I just don't want to buy one yet because they're they can get kind of expensive if you want a good one. Uh, so what I used was actually my little mini iron, which is like using my dorm to iron out all my clothes because I like to be nice and pressed. Um, and I used craft foam because it's very cheap. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, it's just pretty. It's very cheap. You can get a whole like pack for like eight dollars. You got a whole bunch of them. They're all different colors, but it doesn't matter if you're gonna paint them. And it's very easy to heat. Um, each piece, each, every single piece has been shaped to my body exactly how I want it. So yes, each piece is shaped how I want it. Um, what I did was I took my ironing board and my foam and then I put a very thin sheet of fabric between them and I took the iron and I heated up each small section at once and then I would press it to me in the shape I want it to go. It did, this does take a little while. But, um, the results are really good. I really, actually, I'm really proud of the way my armor looks. Especially considering it's the first time I've ever worked with, like, foam. <laughs> so, I'm very proud of that. Um, the breastplate, I was very worried about because it's very front and center. So, it has to look spot on. So, yeah. So, then for the trim, using the same paper outlines I made of all of these pieces to begin with, I took the paper outlines, I made another outline... <laughs> on the craft foam again, and then this time I just cut out the edges. And I did that for each piece that needed it, yeah, uh, pretty much. But, um, yes. And then I hot glued the trim together, and then any pieces that need to be hot glued together, I just hot glued together. For example, this is hot glued together, but this right here actually is Velcro. I did that because it's a lot easier to get on and off than trying to slide it in over my head and keep my arms straight and because I'm typically putting my cosplay on like super early in the morning trying not to wake anyone else in the room trying to be like sneaky and stealthy and quiet uh, I went with velcro also it's a lot easier to take it off when you're dying of heat in Georgia summer so yes I went with velcro um, all I did was hot glue it on there again of course I love hot glue <laughs> so yeah that is how the armor is staying together. And then, as you can see, the straps are all made out of this uh, fake suede. It's actually made out of a, an old skirt <laughs> that I found at Goodwill all a long time ago for another cosplay. <laughs> and so I just reused like the, the very last of these scraps I had. I sewed them over, and then I put the armor on this mannequin, and I kind of like, mapped out where I wanted the straps to go. And they are also hot glued on. Uh, be careful when you're doing the shoulder piece because I accidentally put mine a little bit too low so my armor actually comes down a little bit lower than I wanted it. And I did actually make a couple mistakes with this. Um, first off, as you can probably see, I forgot to put the trim in the middle. And yeah, oh my armor did get a little bit, it's kind of con worn. There's a mark on the back. It's got a few little spots. Um, I painted it with spray paint. Just plain old spray paint. My first time working with foam, I did not realize how absorbent foam is and how it just like drinks in the paint. So I just kept putting out layers and layers on it until it looked good. But um, I would recommend uh, coating your foam in like a Plasti Dip or Mod Podge. That's what I've learned at least. <laughs> so yeah, do that and then paint it. And then another coat so it looks nice and shiny and stay better than mine has. Mine, the paint's kind of come off a little bit on the edge. And there's a couple places where it could be touched up. But yeah. And then for this piece, because it is attached to like the glove, the arm, I don't know what you wanna, whatever you want to call it. Uh, what I did basically was I took a hole puncher, I punched some little holes, I strung this leather cord through, and then when I put on the glove, I just wrap it around kind of like he has his. And then I secure it to my hand as best as possible, and I slide the glove on. And it stays pretty flat, and it works actually pretty well. If I had more time, I probably would have secured it a little bit more. 
these are the Elwa pieces, and these probably got some of the most beat up as possible. This is made out of magic modeling clay, which I am slowly discovering is not the most solid thing ever. <laughs> but uh, it worked for a little while. As you can kind of see, it's been pretty beat up. It's definitely con-worn. I molded these in little circles. I kind of pushed it in like a little bit of a bowl. Added the holes, and then I waited for them to dry. Painted them with acrylic paint. I think I actually did this by hand. And then I just strung these little things together. And it helps if someone's tying them to you. So they're a little bit tighter. Or you can just tie it in a little bow and just slide them on each time you use them. Um, they do kind of get bent. I actually had two sets of backups. And the backups actually got messed up on the way to the con. <laughs> so um, these are my originals. And these are the only ones I have that still don't look terrible. <laughs> they just look a little bit sad. This is, so this is my armor. All my armor. I'll do a little back. So, because this is the side pieces. They're really fun to shape. Um, when you're doing your back piece, I do suggest you get someone to help you with your back. I wish I had someone to help me with my back. Uh, I ended up just using this mannequin. This mannequin isn't really my size, so my back piece is a little wonky. You can see, yeah, it's a little battle, it's battle worn. It's a little con worn, but um, the velcro's on all the sides. The straps just go up here. And then back around to the front. The breastplate kind of looks like a heart to me, which I think is really cute, considering it's John. But um, yeah, that's my armor. In part three, we're going to cover the weapons, which is basically a sword, a sheath, and a shield. But yeah, that's my armor. I would say this is probably the cheapest and probably the fastest way to make the armor as well. Uh, first time working with foam, it's not that hard, guys. It's actually pretty easy. Just, you know, don't melt it and don't burn your fingers. And, yeah, be careful. Oh, I also, <laughs> funny thing... Um, I painted all my armor the wrong color the first time around. <laughs> I thought his armor was like this white and the trim was black. His armor was like an off-white and gray trim. So I was a little distraught because it was two days before the con. Luckily at that point nothing had been put together. It was just all in pieces. But all the pieces were the wrong color. So, oh, it was, it was a nightmare but it got done. So yeah, uh, part three. Yeah, it's going to be over the weaponry. So yeah, I'll see y'all then. Like, comment, and subscribe, and quack, quack, bye.